You can access your cover page account details through the web. Open your browser and go to www.coverpageapp.com and click on the green button in the upper right of the window. From here you can sign in with your username and password. The first page you'll see is the account overview page. On the left are the different parts of your account. On the lower right are usage and statistics to help keep track of your activity. Click on My Profile to see your user profile. Here is where you can edit or change information anytime. The menu shows subsections, including subscribing for the newsletter. The most important part of your profile is the User Account subsection. You are an administrator of this account, but you can also add coworkers and manage their roles right here as well. You can edit the profile of your current users or add new users by clicking the Add New button. Fill in the name, password, and email of the person you want to add. This will be their name and password for logging into CoverPage. Choose a role for the person you added. Admins have the same rights as you. A publisher can publish the projects to your application and manage those published themselves. You can manage your viewers here and link them with the publications in the Publication Management section. Watch how to link them later in this video. In the Purchase section, you'll find all the details about your purchase history. Clicking on Publications brings you to your Newsstand window, where you have control over both the publications and the viewers who have downloaded them. You can remove publications from the server at any time and also hide them from general view. Once a file is removed from the server, it will also disappear from viewers in the cover page reader as it updates. You can publish into the sandbox mode, and when your project has been tested and you want to go public, simply uncheck the box. The viewer button allows you to manage your viewers and link them with a particular publication. In this case, I'm only going to give George access to the How to Make Sushi project. This means that it'll only be visible to George. John and Thomas won't be able to see it. This is a great way to share files and get client feedback before releasing your app. Adding another device to your account in My Devices section means that the sandbox publications will be visible only on added devices. All paid projects will be available for free. This is your beta interface, where you can test your projects before they go public. To add a device, download any of the UDID apps in the App Store. In seconds, they will tell you what your UDID code is. Add the correct device model and you're done. 